Hi everyone, it's Paul Barry, Cape Cod Mail Group, and uh, today I thought for a video I'd, I'd do something a little different, get out of the office and come outside and, and show you what uh, what I get to look at on a pretty regular basis. This is this is home for me, this is Cape Cod. And uh, also to change it up a little bit today, in previous videos I've tried to share a tip or technique that uh, I thought would be a good idea for you to try. Uh, in this video I'm going to challenge you to do something. Many of you who have a, a robust direct mail program now probably use some kind of testing to make that program as robust as it is. Uh, others of you probably have tried testing in the past and for a variety of reasons haven't been consistent with it. And sadly some others probably don't do testing at all. Uh, for those two last groups in particular, I challenge you to, to change that behavior. Uh, it's really difficult to sit around a table in a conference room and say, gee, what shall we do this time? Or I just came back from a conference and I saw this case history at a presentation, I think we should do that. Or, hey, our vendor just came in the other day and he showed us a sample from XYZ school and we should be doing that. And while all of those are great uh, opportunities to learn what others are doing, you need to really figure out if that's going to work well for you. And to do that, again, you have to test. And in previous videos, I've talked about things you could test. Uh, size of envelope is always an easy one, remembering that the envelope is the first piece that people encounter in their mailbox. So a size of the envelope is certainly a, 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 an idea that can easily be tested. Uh, but more importantly, another area you could test is your own ask arrays. Uh, you already have a, a pretty good solid idea of what your typical ask array has looked like. It's been your policy for perhaps for a number of years. Uh, be more aggressive with that. Intr try, try to do something a little different and be a little more aggressive and see if you can raise that average gift just by being more aggressive with your asks. And to do any of these things, you just need to take a portion of the file that you're mailing now, perhaps 5 to 10 percent, and try something a little different. So the only way I measure success in those cases is to see how many people make a gift. Now if you're testing a gift array, you know, did it actually have an impact on the average gift? Did they go up? But in many other cases, did we get a response at all? Especially in the case of side bunts or long lapsed donors. Are we re-engaging them? Are they opening more? Uh, at this point, I'm not interested in how many dollars they gave you, just how many people opened and responded. So there are any number of ways you can test. Uh, I'm more than happy to chat one-on-one -on -one if you'd like to reach out to me if you'd like to consider doing a test uh, to, to give you some more one-on-one -on -one advice. But in any case, I challenge all of you, for those of you who continue to test, please continue that process. For those of you who have, have tried and, and perhaps not continued or not done at all, uh, please do make the commitment to yourselves, make the commitment to your institutions that you will test and find a better way to enhance your results. So uh, that's it for me today. I'm going to continue and uh, stroll along the beach here and enjoy the sunshine. So until next time, I wish you a wave of results, and we'll talk soon. Thanks so much.